All right, guys. So welcome back to Made It Soul Suspect. Um, this witness now is getting away, so we're gonna have to try and track her down before she gets off. So we've got to exit the attic. We can't take the lift because it's um, we haven't been through there yet. The window's now closed. All right, where can we go? The cat's still here. Let's just see if we can do anything useful. We can also go through the wall now in this room. There we go, the cat can jump up here. I don't think I'm meant to be using the cat Joe just yet. We're just gonna walk through here. See if there's any demons before we go past. It doesn't look like there is. There's a collectible here, another saw piece. There's four more of them to collect. Ghosts everywhere, isn't there? These people sitting up here. They're gone. Okay, where are we going? Some kind of like crazy markings on the wall here. Another collectible. There's 23 of them. Whoa. The fittest of spirits can fall prey to these dangers. Demons. Okay. okay we can head back. Oh, there's a window open there now. It's got the cat. The cat left it in here, didn't I? There it is. Jump down. Jump down! How'd you get down? Ah, that's it. It's the sprint. I was pressing the wrong button to sprint. Where did the girl go? She would have probably headed towards the church itself. So maybe. I don't think we're going to need the cat anymore. The guy's not hoovering anymore, is he? Let's just quickly go in here. There was demons down here. No, I killed a demon, didn't I? So it's alright to walk around freely. That's... That's what we found last time. If we came in this way. Is evidence okay? Okay, I'm not trying to be picky, but seriously, now you call this a second. This is the way we came through last time. Let's pick this up. Um What are those markers on top of the telly? Poltergeist. <laughs> you can switch the tellies on and like do all that crazy stuff. What's that film with the girl? They're, they're coming! Or something she says. I can't remember. Is it called The Poltergeist? I think it is. Right, we're back here again. Shit. Wait! Come back! Leaving so soon, dear? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, wait up, Father. Be careful out there, Mitchell. <sighs> Alright, so we need to get past this. A ghost can cause poltergeist to manipulate people. Huh? A ghost can cause poltergeists. Am I getting past this? It's giving me a marker for where the priest is. And if I step on that, short sure demons are going to grab me. Okay, poltergeist. Okay, so poltergeist is something that affects, like, electrical equipment or something. So it gets attention. When she calms down, I'll go ask her why she needs to stay here. not going to switch it off. Okay, we can cross this now. Thank you, Father. Okay, let's... Oh! Shit. Okay, there's, there's two in there. Fuck these guys. Seriously. Let's get through this wall and try and hide in one of them quickly. Okay, we're in. Church. 
Okay, we can distract. Some objects can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed using the ravens to distract the demons. It's often useful. So, okay, so we're going to try and not kill them this time and just get past them. Shit, give me some cover. Hiding from demons can help you get closer to it. Okay, it's like a tutorial anyway. I've got to do this. Distract the demon. Okay, so now he's looking at that. Okay, now I can, I can execute him. Just approach the demon from behind if you want to execute. I'll, uh... Okay, let's try and get this quick time event right the first time this time. <laughs> I'm sick of failing these. Yay! He did it! <laughs> There's another one there. Um. There's another damn bird there. Cool. I think I just need to take my time on the quick time events. You've got quite an open window to get the comp, the um, you know, the button in. Okay. What's upstairs? Oh, I'm gonna wait. I just want to check what's up here first. Is this more? There's places to hide. Um, there's people over here. There's a collectible behind this. It looks like. Burned Rectory Plague. Okay. Near this spot, the original St. Benedict's Rectory was lost to flames. Okay, so it shows me stuff, like, from years ago. Okay, that was in the exact same place. There's no one there. I said plague, didn't I? I think it says plaque. <laughs> Damn it. Now what? Where'd she go, huh? What clue would you tell me? Well, I can move this with the pad, the motion detection. Okay, um, what clue would tell me where she's headed? Okay. Runaway witness, powerful scream, church attic, robber's note, killer motive. So is any of these like a place? She's looking for her mum, probably. Runaway witness? That's kind of like related to that we're looking for her. That one, I think. The mum. She's looking for her mum. Fuck off. No way. It's this one, then. It's gone a bit greener. The motive? The, no, shit. Oh, God. Just, is it the obvious again? Like, that she's running away? No. Okay, we're messing up this one. The note. Uh. station and don't look back. Yeah, of course. We knew that anyway. Because he said oh, that I'll be at the station. Yeah. So. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. She'll blend in well there. Do you know her mother worked for the police? Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Time to 
head back to the station. Oh, something's telling me there's demons here now because of the ghost residues back on the beach. Can't see any just yet. Police department's this way. That ghost is gone now, is it the afterlife? The woman that was here? Because she's figured out why she died. I think to go to the afterlife, you've got to figure out the full story to how you died and who did it and stuff like that. If someone killed you. Because she found out that she drowned, what the cause was of it was, and all that, you know. So it's a pretty close town, this. Like, Everton's in range of it's like each other at the church next to like where I died, then there's next to the police station just up here. The murder scene. They cleaned it up yet? Yeah, they have, haven't they? That's where I died, I think. Let's just check any demons before we approach the station. There's a few shiny collectibles here. What are these ones? Just more thoughts of Julia. Need gas. Oh my god, there's 15 of these. I hate collectibles like this that are just in random places, you know? And you gotta get them all to kind of show you one thing. It's not like individual bits that you can kind of get something from one thing and then it's alright to miss a few. But it's just. Uh... Alright, where's the station? Are we at the station? No, it's that way. Okay, can we go around this wall? What's this guy thinking? In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. <laughs> That's a strange thought, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? That's a dead body, a dead guy. Hey, hey, hey. He needs help. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh. Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? Oh, the details are hazy. I, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Alright, so this is another side quest again. I said I wasn't going to do many of these, but I didn't realise it until I clicked on it. But let's find out what happened here anyway, seeing as we started it. So there's whiskey. It seems who was driving. Okay. This is license plate. B Rad. This must be Brad's car. I think Brad was driving. <laughs> right, there's one more clue. There we go. It's not much, but it's something. It's a gas station receipt. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. Why? I should check out the gas station. How's that going to help you find out who was driving? Like the receipt should say who who paid for the the gas. Where the hell's the gas station? It's like that's not really a road, is it? Oh, there's the gas station there. Is there a witness who saw who was driving? such a lightweight. 
Okay, so that woman was filling the car up while he was being sick. That's him being sick. Is that Brad? Oh, it's Rick. Okay. Brad's the dead guy. That's Brad. Yeah, Cap. <laughs> I mean, Cap. What? Oh. Uh. Gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. Great. Who was he on the phone to? He's behind a cab, okay. Okay, so she was filling up while... Why's the train track here? Any more clues here? So weird. Somebody was alive. And now they're not. What's this? this guy's doing? Maybe if we walk a little faster. So nothing behind here. Another plaque. The history of Salem. Okay, let's try and find an answer then. Is there a witness who saw who was driving? But these are the three people involved, aren't they? I don't know what the other two clues are going to be. Because Brad isn't a witness because he don't know what happened. Laura was in the middle of filling up when she heard the loud noise and cut it short. So that's a witness, she heard something. And she was... Is there a train here or something? Something startled him, yep. That's kind of like a witness again. And he got scared off while he was calling for a cab. That's a witness, isn't it? Because he's seen something. Yeah. So they all heard a loud bang that scared them off. They could fish figure out what they heard. Hmm. How do I figure out what it was that they heard? He kind of looked like this way, Brad, didn't he? Like, so it's... Alright, so I found this guy here, and we can influence him to see what... To carry on this investigation to the gas station incident. So, what does he remember about the accident? Mysterious bang, gruesome car crash, Brad making a call. So, we, we, we need to find out what the bang was before anyone else. Well, they all heard the loud bang that scared them off. If I could just figure out what they heard. Okay. That's correct. Wish I didn't slam the door so hard. The stupid window was coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So... Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. So the cashier he remembers that it was the female driving. Okay, so we can go tell him now. And he can move on to the afterlife now and how he died and who was involved. Hopefully. Let's go see Brad. Hey. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God. I, I don't remember any of that. 
When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. Here we go. He's moved on. Cool. So uh, next time I see a ghost that I can help, I might try and just avoid it, just to because that's purely a side mission. It's got nothing to do with the investigation of the killer. All right, here we are. We're at the police station. All right, before we enter, I'm gonna cut this part here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.